Welcome to the video guide for vendors at the Paola Farmers Market. This season, the Paola Farmers Market will be held alongside the live performance series Music on the Square for our combined event on Saturday evenings known as Music and the Market. In this video, we'll talk about the time and schedule for the market, how vendors will set up, and what you can expect with how the market will operate. Then we'll share with you what we're doing to promote the farmer's market and what we've done to improve it this season. Finally, we'll cover how the market will help with accepting payments, including credit cards, SNAP, and senior nutrition checks. So first, let's talk about how the market will run. It's Saturdays from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It runs June 19th through September 25th, except for July 3rd for Independence Day and July 31st, which is the weekend of the Miami County Fair. Vendors can start setting up before the market at 5.45. The live music performances start at 7.30. There will always be market staff from Discover Historic Paola there to help you. We will be there till 9 or at least until the last vendor leaves. We will have a welcome table at the market each week, so if you or any shoppers have questions, please come on by. Our farmer's market is located, as ever, in the landmark Park Square in Paola. The market will be on the east side of the square in Paola, along the sidewalks to the east and south. The audience for the music portion typically set up chairs to the east of the gazebo, so we're aiming to have the market center around the east and southeast to stay clear of that audience space. The locations for vendor tables and booths are first come, first serve. There are electrical outlets in our area, but only a few along each sidewalk. So if you don't need power, please try to leave space for those who do. And if you do need power, it's a good idea to have an extension cord handy. Feel free to pull up into a parking spot on the square when you set up and later when you're packing up. But once you've unloaded for the market, please park in one of the nearby municipal lots during market hours. Just a couple of other things to note. There are public restrooms available on the back of City Hall, accessible from the alley on the east side of the square. There's a street sign posted, and we'll have one out as well. We've lined up the entire season with food trucks for the market. They'll be set up at the lot across from City Hall on East Peoria. Now let's talk about what we've been doing to promote the market and you, our vendors. For three years, we've been working on making the market special and unique. And of course, this season, we're able to make music and the market a reality. Back in 2019, we invested a lot in promotions for the event. So when we started working on the market this year, we had a good head start. Coming off our 2020 curbside market, we continue to focus the market on local, fresh food. With that focus, we've been able to expand the market's customer base and provide more access to local fresh food in our community by participating in nutrition programs. We've also lined up our schedule with a local natural growing season with a later start date and end date. And the switch to the evening time should allow our vendors flexibility to participate in other local markets earlier in the day. We're so grateful for every vendor's participation in the market. We want this to be a great community event that benefits Paola and pays off for you. And we believe that every vendor should see the $50 registration fee as a worthwhile investment in the market and in our community. Your fee, of course, helps us operate the basics of the market. But it also allows us to scale up on the marketing and promotions that bring in shoppers and help you sell more. Like our website. Every vendor has a listing on our site. We've used information you've given us, along with social media sites and online presence, to make a page you can use to promote what you sell. That listing will be there through the entire season. If you have content or photos or any updates you need to make, just let us know. We'll have volunteer staff that will visit each of you as you set up for the market each week. While we do that, we'll be taking photos and talking to you about your inventory. 
We'll post and highlight items on social media and continue to promote the market each week throughout the season. You'll also get a tabletop flag that you can put up if you need us to come over for any reason. We'll keep an eye out. While we're there during setup, don't hesitate to ask for any help you might need. That's what we're here for. And if you agreed to texting on your phone, you can reach us that way too. Since 2020 put things on hold, our promotional efforts for Music on the Market ended up being a two-year campaign. So we have even more promotions for 2021. Every vendor gets this Music on the Market apron. You'll also see new Music in the Market banners like this one being hung up around the city in the coming days. We also had Music in the Market tote bags created to promote the market. You can get them at the market table. We're asking for a dollar donation for a tote, which helps cover the cost, though they can be free to any nutrition program shoppers. If you're interested in offering them to your customers, we can use the honor system for what you collect in donations. If you can, try to limit them to one per customer so we can get them into more households. Depending on the demand in the first week or two, we'll decide when to order more. All right, now let's talk about payments at the market since this will be a different thing for all of us. Discover Historic Payola has been approved to receive payments under the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, known as SNAP, at the Payola Farmers Market. This is an important responsibility and really a great honor for us to be entrusted to do so. As far as I know, we are the only farmers market in Miami County that can accept SNAP. SNAP payments are processed through an Electronic Benefits Transfer, or EBT, card. The state of Kansas issues EBT cards, and the card may have other assistance programs funds on it, too. But as of now, should someone ask, our market accepts only SNAP. As I'm saying, should someone ask, I want to make clear that the most important thing I want you as a vendor to know about accepting SNAP payments is that our market staff are going to help you in every way possible. So, should someone ask, please don't be shy about saying, I don't know, let me get the people who run the market to answer that question. Our market staff is going to have the equipment needed to run the EBT card. When we come around at the start of the market, we'll help you and identify items you have that are eligible to be purchased with SNAP. If you have eligible items, we have a tabletop sign for you, and it asks that shoppers let you know ahead of time if they're using SNAP. Since we have the equipment for EBT cards, we can also accept other card payments, credit cards and debit cards. It works the same way. Just put up your flag or send us a text if you need us to run a card. So if you don't have your own way to take card payments, just let us know at the start of the market, and we can run those for you. We have set up duplicating receipts, they're carbonless, so that we can track and record what's being purchased and what we reimburse you at the end of the night. You get a copy, we get a copy. Our market staff will help with the receipt and running the card. All you need to do is help us make sure we get the right prices. In all honesty, I have no idea what to expect for demand on this. I may be getting a serious workout to keep up. But I promise our staff will do our best to make this work, and we will make changes if necessary. All we ask is you try to encourage shoppers to be patient if we're running behind with other customers. So when you're packed up and ready to leave for the night, find our staff so we can compare receipts and reimburse you for any card payments we've run on your behalf. If you use Venmo or Zelle, we'll reimburse you as you close up that night. If not, we'll use Bill Pay through First Option Bank to get a check mailed to you on the next banking business day. Some of our vendors are also participating in the Kansas Senior Farmers Market Nutrition Program, KSFMNP. That program and those checks are handled directly by farmers, and you should already have your training and ID card at this point if you're participating. All our market staff will do is check in with you to see if you have your ID card and if you have eligible items, so we can send shoppers your way with those checks. 
And do remember, both SNAP and the Senior Nutrition Program purchases are tax exempt. When we run the SNAP payments for you, we'll make the adjustment if your prices are already set with tax included. Just a few other things to note as I wrap up. We will have a little bit of small cash and coins if you need change. We'll help as much as we can if you're in a pinch, but of course try to be prepared ahead. Also this season, the Paola Lions Club will be offering cold bottled water for a suggested dollar donation. So try to point people their way if you know they're looking for a drink. They're also accepting general donations and used eyeglasses if you have any. Well, that's it then. We're looking forward to a great season. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any question, big or small, serious or silly, or anything in between. This email address goes to several people, so one of us should be able to get back to you fairly quickly. And when our market staff comes around at the start of the market each week, we'll have a textable number too. Again, we are so thankful for your participation in the market and supporting our community. We hope by the end of the 2021 season of music in the market, you'll say it's been the best and most worthwhile farmer's market experience you've ever had. Thanks, and see you soon.